Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon. And today's topic, help me, because I'm about to choke this lady. Friends, I remember in a season where I was taking donations from all my friends, family, everybody that I could muster up and encourage and motivate to give so that we could give them to low-income single moms. So I mentioned to this sister, I said, look, um, I ran into her at Walmart and I was telling her what I was up to. And she was like, you know, I got quite a few things, Sharon. If you stop by the house, I'd love to donate them. I said, no problem. I'll follow up. So I did. So I get to her home, and she has this beautiful house. I was like, wow, God has blessed this sister. She she is just doing her thing. So as soon as I get in, she wants to give me this tour, and the house was absolutely stunning. High vault ceilings. It was beautiful. So I was like, wow, I can't wait to get whatever she's given. So, you know, this is going to be a blessing to those that can use whatever she has. Friends. She handed me over two small bags, and when I opened the bags, I was on my way out. We had talked, and, you know, she had taken up most of the time doting on her new house that she had. When I opened them bags, I wanted to choke her. I was so hot, red, suddenly angered, but I held my peace. But I was in shock. This had to be 2015, 14. The clothing in the bag was a blast from the past. Every bit of 1980. Old fuzzball sweaters. Some disco glitter type stuff I was in shock I was so angry that she actually thought that what she was giving me was appropriate to give to the poor now I need you to hear me today friends because some of us we need to examine our hearts and we need to do it because God has put a little nugget in his word, Proverbs chapter 19. When we give to the Lord, or rather to the needy, to the poor, we lend unto the Lord. And the Lord will fully repay them that, in other words, we take care of the poor. This woman's heart was so far removed. She was so caught up in her little world. She had no conscience that she was giving to those in need her garbage. Because that's exactly what it was. Garbage. And I want to encourage you, friends, to ask yourself, what is your real attitude towards the poor and the needy. Some of you who have been watching regular know that last week I shared with you how one of the volunteers here at Handmade Soaps for Hope, the ministry, donated designer high-end perfumes. She gave to the ministry her best. She did not give me no junk, friends. Most of the bottles didn't even, they had never even been opened. And what she did give that was used, it wasn't to the point where you're like, uh, ma'am, there ain't nothing in here. Why you give me that? She gave to the ministry her best. And I share with you all how we will now take donations of gently used wallets, designer. It doesn't matter to me. What matters is that it's quality. And some of your comments were not only disturbing, they reminded me of this lady I wanted to choke. See, friends, I remember because this woman, how she just did this thing with no conscience. It was a defining moment for my ministry and my life. 
And I remember I vowed to God, I will never give the poor garbage. Never. And I want to challenge each one of you, your attitude about giving. Friends, this area, check, 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 check it. There is nothing evil, there is nothing sinful about wanting or having nice things. It's when they have you that it becomes a sin. There is nothing wrong with wanting to give anyone your best. And the best in my mind is quality. And many people don't know how to pick out quality things. It has to have some kind of name on it. We don't care about brands at this ministry, friends. But let us face the music and the facts. Most brands, the reason they are as they are is because they use the best materials. You don't give the poor garbage. So friends, I want you to challenge your heart. What is your attitude towards giving and most notably to the poor? Because some of us, including that woman who came out of poverty, I knew her story. Now, she, that's probably why she had those dilapidated fuzzball sweaters from the 80s. Because some people, when they poor, they don't know how to live by faith. They, they're hoarders. They hold on to everything. Here she is in her contemporary home. Everything in that house was brand new. And you're going to throw at the poor these old fuzzball, glitter, disco. Oh, friends, I'm having flashbacks. I need to stop because it stirs me up. Check your attitudes, my friends, towards giving to the poor. Jesus said, we will always have the poor among us. He said, it is better to give than to receive. And let me tell you, friends, I am a witness. Giving is living. Giving is an expression of God. And I want you all to understand and to know this. Some of you, the reason you're so miserable is because you are waiting for the perfect time to give. Some of the greatest moments I had with our father was in my time of wilderness and desolation. I had nothing. In fact, when I was doing this fundraiser, I was homeless. But I had clothes. I had more than enough for me. Let us check our hearts, friends, and stop. Stop. Stop for the moment to consider how blessed you really are. Food, shelter, and clothing, you're blessed. And many of us, we have so much surplus. We have so much. We just have, we're hoarding, ignoring the hurting. And then when we do give, we attempt to give the garbage. He or she that has an ear to hear, enough said. Enough said. Pray for me, people, because I don't like nobody's foolishness. When it comes to the poor, I will fight with you on that one, friends. You don't throw your garbage at the poor. You don't do it, my friend. Garbage belongs in garbage cans so they can end up where they belong out on a landfill somewhere. Hmm. Enough said. I love you, my friends. Till next time. Let's all Examine our hearts for the glory of God.